Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. I hope this video finds everybody well. The chickens and ducks tractors are getting closer and closer to our garden beds to get them prepped for our spring planting. Our garlic is coming up just fine despite the fact that we just strewn it through this bed and we have the annual weeds mixed in with it. Those weeds will die back in the spring and allow the garlic to grow. What you got, boys? Titus. Titus? Wait, that's not a buck. Titus, why are you in the buck pen? Oh boy. He says he just jumps out a lot. Yep. Titus learned that he can jump our electric net fence. And now we have to keep him in the big fence. At first we just put him in here with the bucks and really kept a close eye to make sure he wasn't gonna be too playful. He's almost two, so he's at the age where he shouldn't be acting so much like a puppy that he plays with them too much, but we still keep a very close eye on that because he is kind of playful still. Isn't he, boys? Yep, he still likes his tail. He still wags his tail? I hope so. Oh my goodness, and he still uses his paw like a hand to reach out and touch his mama. He says, Mama, scratch my ears again. Yeah. I like his Good tail. boy. Good boy. Anyway, so he's been doing really good with the bucks, but we set him up a new area over there with a double fence to hopefully keep him from jumping over and he just jumped over it when I brought the bucks in. And Khaleesi's like, why is he over there and I'm over here? <laughs> so he's we, like alone. She's like alone, yeah. So we, like my we are still trying to train him to stay with, the, with his friend Khaleesi so that the bucks have a little bit of more freedom because you can see they kind of just stand there watching the dog the whole time. They don't want to go eat and forage. At least They're we just have kind of on alert. These can be two sides of protection. Two sides of protection, that's Protection true. from bears <laughs> and wolf coyotes and protection from foxes <laughs> and stuff. But Titus is going to have his surgery in the next couple of months. So that hopefully will keep him from jumping the fence and will retrain him to stay with Khaleesi. Now, you're probably wondering why I don't just let them free range with the goats. It's the goats, really. The goats act pretty scared of dogs. So for the goats' wellness and you know mental I health, want my neck. I think it's better to just have the dogs next to them. They seem much better in the temperament when the dogs are just close by and not actually in with them. Have probably already noticed that we are missing a buck. Virtue did not go to freezer camp. We actually got him a home where he's gonna go and breed with some other does. So he got a brand new home that wants to use him to the best of his ability and keep him as a pet. So we're super happy about that because he was definitely pet quality. <laughs> he was too nice. So that really took a huge weight off of my chest and I'm just glad that we were able to do that. Even though I would love to have more meat in the freezer, he was kind of a little too friendly. <laughs> so it worked out perfectly. So when the people were picking up Virtue, that was when Titus decided to jump the fence and I thought he was going to get us in trouble with the law because I thought he was gonna try to bite because he is a guard dog and he was acting like a guard dog and then jumped the fence and came running towards us and then wagged his tail when he got to us. So I don't think he's a vicious type, but you just always have to keep your guard up with any animal and with him seeing strangers, taking one of his friends, I was a little bit worried, <laughs> but he did a good job. But that was how he figured out he could jump because he had a reason to. So now whenever he has a reason to jump, he does. Hi. Hi, Kitty. Kitty coming up to me. Hmm. Something's different with her. So, Kitty, who I thought was due February 22nd, which is still three weeks away, has had a lot of discharge. I thought it was just her mucus plug at first 
but it's continued over the last couple of days plus the fact that she's just kind of acting a little different her personality is just slightly changing um we're keeping a close eye just in case um i had bred her at a previous heat cycle and didn't realize it write it down and then i just want to make sure that if she did have a heat cycle before that february 22nd due date she would be due now so we're keeping a close eye on her well these goats do not stop loving these pumpkins we have moved on to the heirloom pumpkins for the goats because we ran out of jack-o'-lantern pumpkins and they are eating them more than we are so one of these pumpkins is uh more than we could possibly eat in a sitting so we already have a bunch in the freezer that we baked and we really 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 don't need any more so it's good that the goats have it it's a free food source for them and us it's so cute to see little udders forming on my first freshness that's so cute so that's a little fern and flower i think I'm not seeing their faces time is big and fat and getting an udder ruby is getting her udder in our sweet goopy shy that likes to eat on her knees is one who i didn't think was bred because she never got fat but now she's starting to get a little udder so i'm hoping crossing my fingers that she is bred if she is bred i'm thinking she's the first one due on the 12th just before valentine's day actually so we'll see definitely acting different. Three weeks before the February 22nd due date would be now. Head stretching, arching her lip. So she could be hypocalcemic when you see that, but that's also something she does when she's in labor. So it could just be early pre-labor. She's being super friendly. I did give her some Tums yesterday just to be on the safe side if there is a pre-hypocalcemia taking place with her. Um, I just want to be on the safe side with that. But she does look like she's kind of dropped a little. On the slope of her hips, but her ligaments are still tight. So we're not, we're not on kid watch or anything. We're just on kitty watch. <laughs> I feel like that. What are you doing, Rowan? Okay, why are you doing that? Because it's fun. I do like it. <laughs> That's the goat that likes you? Yeah. Yeah, I think most of them like you. Hey, be nice. I just don't like that. <laughs> um, the ones that I didn't mention being bred, they are either too young to be bred, um, or just not in the right condition to be bred like Autumn. Or we have tried rebreeding them again and they'll be a summer kidding, which I didn't want to do, but I also want to make sure that I have overlap of my milk. So it works out better for us if we do have a few kids um, in the summer so that we do have a milk supply going into the winter. Even that in here. Autumn, what do you think of that kitty? Kitty, don't be scared of them, come back. Mitzi, let the goat sniff you. Come on, it'll be cute. Where did you get that mean lion? I don't know if you should be holding that thing. It might tear your eyeballs out. <laughs> Kitty, you're so sweet. Mitzi loves the boys. She's just like a limp noodle when they pick her up. Sweet kitty. And Rowan is still putting leaves on cats and goats. That's not even a real leaf. <laughs> I thought it was a real leaf at first. Hi. 
Yeah, she's not acting right. <laughs> she's just like rubbing her head against people and not eating any hay. And then if they try to touch her, she rams them away. Oh, hello, shy baby. Oh, <laughs> you think I got something for you? Oh, let me get that zoom out. Zoom. Oh, you got your nose is covered in pumpkin, sweet girl. You're so pumpkin-y. You're so pumpkin-y, girl. Oh, are you going to sit in my lap? Practically. Oh, climbing up. Come on up, baby girl. Oh. Everybody loves a lap goat that weighs 100 pounds. Oh, you're going to go see the boys. Liam, where are you going with that cat? You're going to scare her because she's scared of the goats. I thought the goat was doing that scare of the I think it's a little bit of both. What do you think of that? Pretty weird? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that dog. He is so goofy. I don't know if you can see. He's rolling around on his back with his belly in the air, chewing on a stick. Oops, my finger's not the right spot. And so the bucks are able to eat their food in peace. They're doing just fine. Ryan's going to try a different method with the fences. What? That dog was fighting that dog. Oh, that's all right. They do that sometimes. <laughs> Liam, are you are you the goat referee? <coughs> what does that mean? <coughs> I don't understand that language. The ducks are about to fly. The ducks are about to fly, huh? I don't know. I don't see them ducks flying very often. Well, either our bald eagle has moved on to a different territory or these two ducks are really good at hiding from it because they have remained free range and we haven't seen the bald eagle again and we haven't had any more losses from our free range ducks. Fortunately, we only have two free range ducks to eat the slugs and snails that help protect our goats from parasites, but we are hoping to hatch some more. Dun, dun, dun! I finally completed a project I was really wanting to get done to get these shelves set up for our grow lights and grow mats. The shelves are adjustable so as things grow we'll move down and we've got plenty of space on this bottom level where we can move down quite a bit more. Um, these are plant bulbs inside of regular shop lights for those top two and then this one was a commercial plant light. This is going to have to be thrown away. It's got some vermin chews on it. This one's in good shape so it's uh, survived the winter out here. We are in the process of collecting quail eggs for hatching. We're going to hatch out another batch so that we can process the males we have over here in this cage. Gonna get those cold and hatch out some more. Our beautiful Ancona ducks are laying again and we are collecting those eggs for hatching. These are purebred, really good lines and uh, that's why we've kept them isolated in a chicken tractor so that we can have pure Ancona ducklings. We will be using a lot of them, but we may have some for sale as well. And our chickens are laying again. So we're getting eggs finally. Yay. The boys just took off ahead of me back to the house. Liam's thirsty. He's always thirsty when we come out and do chores. I really need to be better about making sure he grabs his water to take with him. <laughs> so we're gonna go in and hopefully I'm gonna get my seeds out and get them sorted and get a plan in place. Um, my seed starting soil has been ordered but I don't have it yet so I'm just waiting on that basically and then I'm gonna start my brassicas, my loofah, and my sorrel, not sorrel. It is called sorrel, Jamaican sorrel, um, hibiscus. Um, some of the things that I felt like needed a little bit more time to grow than last year's plants. And then shortly after that, we'll be starting peppers and tomatoes. I might even start some now. We'll see. 
what I can get done in a day. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below, and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.